Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be talking about 15 things that have been completely removed or cut from the game. So we actually did a video similar to this right after the PC version came out because a lot of people were able to dive into the files and find some of the cut content that Rockstar just didn't include in the game. And now that a couple of months have gone by and other programs like OpenIV have updated to include Red Dead Redemption 2, we found even more cut content, things that never made their way into the game. And today we're going to be going over 15 of those things. So I'll leave a link to the original video I did a couple of months ago if you want to check out some of the things we talked about there, like Sharks and Princess IKZ and Neanderthals. We're sort of going to be building off of what we talked about in that video in this one. But anyways, let's dive into it and let's get it started. At the number one spot today, there was supposed to be a talking parrot in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, I don't know where this talking parrot was supposed to be found, whether it was an Easter egg that you would stumble upon in Guarma, or maybe some wealthy person had one in San Denis, or if it was just supposed to be a random chance animal, or maybe it would have been a legendary animal that you could actually hunt. And what we're going to take a listen to next is some footage found by a YouTuber, The Strange Man. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. If you like Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this, you're probably going to like his content. He does some really cool stuff. So anyways, let's take a look at some few lines of dialogue from The Talking Parrot. Who's out there? Ah! Ah, if you say so. Okay, so how hysterical is that? I wish Rockstar would have kept this in the game, but if it was associated with Guarma, again, we don't know how much of Guarma was cut, and if there was supposed to be way more to it than we actually got, but that's the first thing today. The second thing today, and we're going to stay on Guarma, is there's actually some interesting Guarma relics that can be found. And I don't know if this was specifically supposed to be to add like a mystery to the island of Guarma or if it was supposed to be treasure that you could actually find. All I know is this is so cool. And again, it kind of brings back the theory that there was supposed to be something way more involved with Guarma than just like a very short chapter where you crash your ship and you try and get off as quickly as possible. I feel like there was such a deeper story here and all the little things we're finding, I think, contributes to that. And we've even talked about some previous elements to Guarma in other videos, like the fact that there was an option that would allow you to go back and the entire map has a bunch of areas that, you know, we can't even access, but Rockstar planned on ended up using. So again, these relics here are a good sign that there was either a treasure or something new altogether that we were supposed to find out on Guarma. The number three spot today, it looks like we were supposed to rob Emerald Ranch. So as you guys know, there are a handful of house robberies in game, uh, whether that's Mama Watson's house or the Aberdeen pig farm. These are specific and planned random events that Rockstar put at various houses throughout the game. And it looks like there was supposed to be a house robbery at Emerald Ranch. And this would explain so much because as you guys know, the mystery of Emerald Ranch is kind of a weird one. You have Miriam Wagner, the daughter who's trapped inside. The owner of Emerald Ranch is very hostile and you can even find letters and even people that need rides from town to town that will tell you how weird of a location Emerald Ranch is and that even a murder likely took place there. So now that makes a whole lot more sense that we were supposed to have an official house robbery and likely would have been able to go inside of Emerald Ranch. And it also begs the question, would we have been able to free Miriam Wegner, the daughter who is trapped inside? I don't know if we'll ever know, but that would have been so cool. Anyways, let's move on. At the number four spot today, it looks like there was actually a use for the meteorites that you were supposed to find. So as you guys know, you can find two meteorites in game, one at the meteorite site and another where a chunk of a meteorite has come down and actually killed a couple of guys that are sitting in a house. 
And for the longest time, players have been searching for the long lost third meteorite. I don't think anyone to this day has found it, but it looks like there was supposed to be a meteorite trinket that you could actually craft. So this comes from a user, Happy Growls, who actually found the meteorite trinket icon and found the text for what it was supposed to look like in game, where you actually find a piece of a meteoroid and what it's supposed to do is decreases the effects of exposure to hot environments by 10%. So if you guys don't know, if you go in a hot environment, you don't have the right clothing, you'll actually lose stamina, health a little bit quicker, it would decrease that. How cool is that? So it looks like there originally was supposed to be a plan for the meteorites and the pieces that you could find, but I guess Rockstar never decided to implement that. And building off of that same text post you can see right here, it looks like you were also able to deliver bags of money that you found to a bank or a sheriff. So you can see there's some lines of text that says you can deliver money bags to a bank or a sheriff station, and another one says inform the sheriff. So I guess the reason why Rockstar removed this is because I would imagine most players would just like keep the money, like instead of returning it to the sheriff. Although I would imagine if you turned it into the sheriff that you would end up getting good honor or maybe there would be some bonus missions associated with that. Either way, it would have been pretty cool. We definitely don't have that option to do that right now. The number six spot today, we finally have an answer to what happened to the frozen Neanderthal. So do you guys remember the Neanderthal that we actually talked about in a previous video? A lot of people were wondering, including myself, like what was this guy supposed to be? Was he supposed to be an Easter egg that you would stumble across? Are we supposed to find him like frozen underneath the ice? Well, it looks like we actually have our answer. So this footage is coming from Pariah87 on the GTA forum site. They actually found the animation of the Neanderthal and it looks like he would be frozen in a lake. And this kind of reminds me of the Easter egg that Rockstar had in Grand Theft Auto V, where in the prologue, they actually had an alien frozen underneath the ice. So I'm sure this would have just been a very similar Easter egg. And now we kind of know what the Neanderthal would have been like. You would have seen him underneath the ice, and maybe he would have been a point of interest that you could scribble into your journal. I think that's awesome. I really wish Rockstar had included this in the game. I don't know why they decided to cut it, but now we know what the Neanderthal was supposed to be used for. The number seven spot today, another thing that was cut from the game is a Blackwater riverboat icon. It's really small and I apologize for that, but remember it's supposed to be like an icon that you would see on the mini map. And to me, this confirms that at some point in time, our characters were supposed to have been in Blackwater during the entire massacre. Because remember, the Blackwater massacre occurred on a ferry, just like that, on a riverboat. So what's the point of having an icon specifically for Blackwater? Because if you go there in the epilogue, there isn't one that exists. Now, some people have argued that you go on a riverboat during chapter four where you actually play poker. So maybe this would have been the opportunity to go back and forth and play more. But the fact that you can play poker and other card games at saloons, there really isn't a need to do that. So I think this is another sign that the Blackwater Massacre was a real thing that we were supposed to witness in game and that we just never got the opportunity to see. So that is pretty cool. Another icon at the number eight spot today, this little money sign icon is supposed to be properties for sale. So I'm guessing this might've been Rockstar building off of what they did in Grand Theft Auto V, where you could actually own and sort of manage business-esque properties, whether it was like a taxi shop or a movie theater. And I guess you could potentially do the same thing in Red Dead Redemption 2, maybe buying properties, managing them, selling them. But I guess Rockstar opted for like the camp strategy where you just move with your camp. So uh, again, that would have been pretty cool, but who knows how they would have implemented it. At the number nine spot today, it looks like the Strawberry Mare actually had a house that you could go inside. So in case you guys don't know the mystery behind the Strawberry Mare, he's actually like really weird. I've covered his entire storyline in detail and I'll even leave a link to that video in the description. This guy like traveled all over the country and then settled on Strawberry, but he has like weird things to say about the town and the city even though he's the mayor. So maybe there was a deeper and a darker backstory here that we just simply don't know about with the Strawberry Mare, because there was actually a house that we could go in 
and it belonged to him. Anyways, at the number 10 spot today, let's keep moving on. It looks like there was new item requests that you could actually get. So you guys know the item request that characters will uh, ask you to find in game. Well, there's three of them that never made their way into the final copy of the game. The first one is for Leopold Strauss. You actually needed to find reading glasses for him. That would have been kind of interesting, and Strauss does wear glasses. For Susan Grimshaw, one of the things you had to find was seasoning. I'd imagine this would be for cooking. And then for Trulani, you need to find an eagle talent. So that's pretty cool right there. And ignore the background of all three of those images. Those are just placeholders, but the item request remains. So those are three new items that you would have had to find for those characters. Pretty cool stuff. Building off of some more icons that you can find, there's two icons here for disoriented and confusion. So I'd imagine this is an effect that you could actually have, just like you can be poisoned, you can be sick, obviously when Arthur gets tuberculosis. So maybe if you like fell from a high distance or you got knocked off your horse, you might have been disoriented for a little bit or confused. But I guess Rockstar decided to remove that effect altogether because we actually never see it in game. The number 12 spot, it looks like Mary Linton was actually supposed to have a bigger involvement in the story. Because there's this photo right here, which looks like it's the preview photo for an image before it starts. You can see that Mary Linton is on the rowboat to Guarma. So this is interesting. Was there an alternative scenario where Mary Linton ran away with Arthur, and when they were running away, their ship obviously crashed, and they had to find their way to Guarma? How weird would that would have been if Mary Linton came along? It, it kind of does make sense because she really only shows up for two missions, yet I think her character is way more important than that. So who knows if Rockstar had completely cut her from those mission lines altogether, but that would have been cool to see Mary Linton in Guarma, as awkward as that would have been too. The number 13 spot today, Arthur had a wanted poster. So you guys know how you can find Dutch Vanderlyn's wanted poster at Micah's camp? Well, you can actually find one for Arthur Morgan, or at least you can find the drawing of him. And I would imagine this would have been on his own wanted poster. So who knows how this would have been used or implemented, because Arthur's pretty much wanted throughout the entire game. That's really no mystery. So I don't know how Rockstar would have played this in there, but... Either way, I found that to be kind of interesting. Anyways, let's move on at the number 14 spot today. Hosea was supposed to be on Guarma. And what makes that weird is, remember, Hosea dies during the Lemoyne bank robbery, which is right before the gang ends up escaping to Guarma. So maybe Rockstar actually had some thoughts of keeping Hosea alive, or at least not killing him during that moment right before the gang went to Guarma, because he has an outfit specifically related for Guarma, just like Arthur, Bill, and Dutch have their own Guarma outfits. And the last thing we're going to be talking about today at the number 15 spot, in previous videos we've talked about some animals that never made their way into the final copy of the game, like sharks. Well, it looks like another tropical animal, dolphins, also never made their way into the final version of the game. How cool is that? So in this photo right here, which is another preview image for a mission on Guarma, you guys can see that clearly there are dolphins in the water. That would have been awesome. So another cut animal that never made its way into the final version of the game. Dolphins are just cool altogether. So the fact that they would have been in Red Dead Redemption 2 would have been awesome. But anyways, that right there is 15 things that Rockstar ended up removing and cutting from Red Dead Redemption 2 that has never seen the light of day. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you know of anything else that Rockstar decided to cut or remove from the game? Let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.